Welcome to video number three of machine learning do it yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about factors. Factors are very similar to vectors, but they contain categories of values. For example, for gender, male and female, for produce type, fruit, vegetables, and meat. So these are categories like status, active, inactive. This helps reduce the memory size because male and female can be represented as one and zero. Fruit, vegetable, and meat can also be codified and it helps in compression of the memory storage. This is the syntax for creating a factor. Please note the keyword factor for the collection fruit vegetables now imagine that you have a lot of data but you don't have a particular category with the data for example meat so you would still define the factor but you would create a syntax levels which will have meat but meat in the data elements is not present so let's do that. Let's do the hands-on. In the last video, we installed R. Copy and paste the command. Please note that this command or syntax is copied in the description section of this video. So it shows levels as fruit and vegetables. Let's create another factor with the second syntax, produce type one. And produce type one, you can see the data is only fruit and vegetables, but the levels possible are fruit, vegetable, and meat. You would see this sign this means it's an ordered set because the order is true let's create produce two with ordered false Can see that there is no sign here which means it's an unordered set time for some hands-on exercise number three create the following factors gender with elements male and these these are related to hands-on exercise number two Employed with elements, so employment type is self-employed or, em or employed. Marital status, single or married. And then display these factors. Thank you for watching.